Nah, I listen to that. That yeah, Fleetwood Mac, Daughter, yeah. Bob Marley, Jill Scott, Ben, just weird stuff. It's just all kind of different stuff, man. <laughs> Never know what some of this shit is. I like a little old school house, that like vocal house. All right. That tune's like. Oh yeah. <laughs> I like that. This is what I like. Yeah. Yeah. Like a little there. disco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man. Not the dance. I'm about to have a good time. Mm. Do you have any, you know, like when you get up in the morning, is there anything like you need to do before you start your day? Hot lim hot, li hot ginger. Yeah. Squeeze a lemon. Ginger, no. Squeeze a lemon. Warm water. Drink that. It gets rid of all your mucus, I feel. That's what I've been told, innit? Yeah. I like it. And it, well, it works, <laughs> yeah, man. It you works. do. And then, yeah, just try and work out, mate. You know what it is? You've got to have 20 minutes of doing nothing when you wake up. Just to, like, let the brain just forget about yesterday, concentrate on today. Do you have to, do you say that you live your, like, each day like that, maybe? I live every day as it comes, man. Yeah. Like, sometimes I just wake up in the most randomest places and I just <laughs> gotta crack on. <laughs> Ah, uh, you know what, man? You remind me when you were in Liverpool. <laughs> yeah, you did that with me, yeah. I think you told me and you was like, ah, oh, the day before I was like, I was in some house and then... Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I was like, no, you must be in... I was in like a, like a part of a hotel or something, but yeah. no, literally, you were in someone's house yeah. till all hours in the morning. Yeah, that's how you did it, man. You re I feel like you're the type of person when you're like you're with the fans, like you commit your time and you want to be with the fans, I feel like it it brings something else out in you when you around people who are just there to get their, to their music. Yeah, Man, yeah. I've get, seen that myself. You get their energy back. Usually, like, it's like you giving your energy to people, and like everyone talks about energy these days, but it's true, man. Sometimes you've got like literally nothing left. And you're giving, you're giving, you're writing songs, you're giving, even your mates, if you're just like a giving person, you're giving, you're giving, you're giving, and it's like, fuck, I know, can I get some back? Yeah. We ain't got, we ain't got like the sea, we ain't got the sand, we ain't got the sun, we ain't got good earth to get like real charges that they're getting like in the Caribbean or whatever. So you have to get like from people, to get it from the right food and stuff. So like, so it's, like it's good to get like a burst of energy back from the people and I'll go in and get it. Yeah. Like I'll go in and get it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's nice to hear what people have to say after you, like, you've performed. I did notice that people, it was like people who were really happy and then people who were quite emotional and yeah. like it's a, it's a mixture of all, all the above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is that something that, is that easy for you to process at times? Especially when you've done an emotional song or something. No, or I like, love it, man. If yeah. they're crying, I'll give them a hug or yeah. something. Or tell someone and give them a rug. Yeah. See what I mean? Like, it's wicked. It's good. That, yeah. Ballad of like emotions. That's good, man. I love it. Mm. I wouldn't change it. It's good. That's them. Um, lets me know that people are really listening. You know what I mean? It's the lyrics. Mm. Yeah. Have you written anything of late, which has been? Maybe something which has been yeah, definitely. you might have been masking something for so long, and then you've written it. And it's like oh man, I didn't even know I was feeling that way, or I had that opinion on something. I'll play it to you after. Yeah. Oh sweet. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's a that's a interesting topic when you hear people structuring songs, and they've had like maybe a thought in the mind, and. It is almost like unraveling like yeah. a piece of string. It takes time. It takes yeah. effort before you are, before you know it. You've got a completed song. Yeah. Do you have anything that you that you work on like that? If you have to Sometimes, keep revisiting. That even like lately, I've tried to not. Cause I can. I felt like I could write songs um, quite easily. So like I've tried to not write songs for a while. Cause I felt like I wasn't getting the same oomph. 
So I haven't been trying to write songs for about three weeks, four weeks. And now, as I travel through the train stations and stuff, things are just coming to me and it's nice yeah. and I start writing it and I'll leave it. And it's nice, because I say, you get, I felt like that before as well. Like in my yeah. car, things will come, you write a bit of it and then leave it. So it's nice to get that again and just not rushing anything, not feeling, taking the pressure off it. I'm just letting songs come to you by what you see and how you feel, you know. What you hear. Are you like the old school way that's like pen and paper? Yeah, or do you like do it on your phone? I like pen and paper. But I like, I use my phone like when I'm on the go. Yeah. But like when I'm in the studio, like I'll rewrite it all. What is your man though with the, the pen and paper? Like, what's the feel? I don't know, it's man. Just it's just different. like, it's just how it is, isn't it? Yeah. Like even like how you write it, you know how you got to say it. Like even the way that like, your handwriting is at the top, like, yeah. you know how Kate you're feeling. feeling. Could be like Kate, like, could be like uh, um, capitals. You could be writing like in kind of italics. You could be writing quite bubbly. You know. So it just depends on how, how you're feeling at that time. You know. Have you ever have you heard of Simon Wheatley? He did a book called Don't Call Me Urban. No, I think so. no. Some guy did a book on like grime and whatever back in the day. It's just my mate, but he's coming up to get some something. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to give it away. I'm his it gone. <laughs> he rang me up today. Oh, and I was like, yeah. Have you always been around people who are quite creative? Nah, Don't people just crap fall into. They just fall into my life. Yeah. Great people just fall in. People just fall in, man. But you've always. Is that always been something which you've known you've have known you've had? I always think if you're a creative person, may not be there. Like open your face, but it's something that'll just become apparent. Like eventually, when the moments. When I realised that I was a creative, like probably about not creative, like, like whatever that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I just, I just try and live as clean as I can and want good things to come, and then they just come. Yeah. I don't ask for anything. You don't ask for anything. You just believe yeah. that good things will come if you live well, whatever, and be try and look as good as you want and want better for yourself not bad for yourself not like short term fast cash like hard work and you know it comes with headaches stress you know feeling like your, your head's gonna pop off kind of shit mm. comes with all of that but then when you it's always like when you're about to go when you're about to go mad and then you find and then you find that quail like oh, right cool i'm all right and then the next day or within the next hour something comes Something good just comes and then go, there you go. And you go, there you go again. And then yeah. and honestly, like I don't I don't like to talk about things, but like good things have just come to me in the past two weeks. Good situations. Yeah. So like that's how it was. And I said I was going through a bad couple of weeks, three weeks in my head, two, three weeks in my head. Still not fully out of it, but like doing all right and then I had these two big gigs this weekend, you know. Ain't it open! Yeah, yeah, and fuck, yeah, man. Yeah, and things just come, man. I think you've always got to be. You've, I I struggle as well when you when you're speaking about you wanting better for yourself. Sometimes you always be, you can't help but put yourself down. Yeah. I've always been in that place, whether it's something to do in life or like your career or whatever it is your focus is. Yes. Less um, good say. <laughs> it's always been a mad experience, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down, but you do, you've got to want better for yourself you it's okay to want that it's yeah, okay yeah, to yeah. say that i think sometimes you you can be drawn and think it's quite selfish but yeah yeah no. that's not you have to be a bit selfish sometimes yeah. no it's not bad sometimes you have to be a bit selfish and so um and the balance with. i've always been so when you're younger it's all about what you're doing for others and anything else but yeah, yeah. there must be a balance yeah yeah, yeah you've yeah. got to be with the right people who receive and Give back as well. Hold on one second. I love that shirt, man. I know, that's Hold on. No, man, you're all good. Go back. Yeah, yeah. man. Just yeah. Bless. Yeah, it is about that balance, man. The back end of the day, maybe you're a bit too selfish, and then you, be, then you think, oh, I'm selfish, then you're a bit too giving. Mm. I'm planning to go. No, I'll, now I just put my phone on airplane mode. I don't care. Before, <laughs> no. yeah, I, just, I have to. No. 
Yeah, that's how I say, you know what? Airplane mode, do not disturb all that, and I'll just do it. You no, know, the last we have learned so much just about having the phone and just trying to, and just remembering it's a tool. That's how I look at it. It's nothing else. That phone is mm -hmm. nothing else to me. It's just a tool. Mm -hmm. It's great that I meet you and you meet people like artists and everything, but that's that's the me us talking now is better than ever mm. any message or anything you can do online. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's it. That's all it is. A tool. Definitely. Anything else is just it becomes like you, yeah. just get, you can just get absorbed in it, man. And, and that it can make you unwell, brother. Yeah, yeah of course it can. Even heavily make you unwell. Definitely. Like now, I'm seeing people who uh, who run social media platforms and they're talking now. It's like introduced into the English language now. A social media detox. Like people talk now like that is a normal thing, but that's just something that we've introduced within the last 10, whatever, 10 or 15 years. We've created that, yeah. and now people are doing that. And it's like, wow, it's, it's, I just never thought to be. That's why people can't get anywhere. So how, can you, how can you get anywhere if you're too busy looking at somebody else's life and, and like comparing yourself to somebody else all the time? How can you, when do you spend time on yourself if you're just like, when do you think about you? How can you? That is mad. You can't. That like you literally cannot. But that's why when you look at the, the music game or uh, now, people live their lives so much through the phone. People can't help but be say, "Oh yeah, I must be like this person. Their life is just perfect." And it's like, whoa! Like me speaking to you today, it's like, well, we're just speaking like two human beings. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? But people, but I respect, I admire you so much more for just being the person who you are because it's so easy. Maybe you could come in today and you could just be gassed up and just be saying yeah, yeah, anything yeah. you want. Easy. I know, but I respect you so much more for just being the person who you are, man. It goes a long way because you see the difference in other artists who live up to that. Like, get sucked into that hole of having to be, oh, you know what, I need to be someone else in mm. front of the in front of the phone, well, in front of the camera, on the phone, and it creates like another part of the ego, man, that's just, yeah, toxic. Yeah, man. Toxic, brother. Man. Yeah, man. It's just... I can't, you can't get good sleep. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, 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 you can't even... Like, first thing, like, even today, I put my phone in airplane and my brother went to work, went in his bed for a few hours. When I woke up, looked at my phone, but, you know, five people tried to call me. If I had my phone thingy on, I wouldn't have had a proper sleep, do you know? I wouldn't yeah. have got that extra three, four hours sleep that I needed, do you know what I mean? That's where you got... If it, is, that, is that even being selfish? Yeah. Not answering the phones to, to that bullshit? Nah, man. You've got, got to look after yourself sometimes, man. Are we looking forward, man, in terms of uh, music and... New project coming yeah. out in, like, November. Okay. And we're, like, going towards it now, like, getting all our... We've got a lot of videos shot, a lot of things. It's organising a tour. I'm supporting someone that's going to help him. Yeah. Good, mm. good art, another good artist. Yeah. Support. So, like, we're going to be on the road in October. So, yeah, and then again in February. So we've got That's some hard. good shit going, coming, man. I noticed when you... Mike Skinner was here a few weeks ago. Is anything happening there? Oh, yeah, that little, just no, a little sat scan sat on there, sat in there. I've noticed he's linking up with a few interesting yeah, artists yeah. at the minute. Yeah, yeah he's seen he's, him do a little bit with slow tie. He still hasn't said much on it, but yeah, he's yeah, yeah he hasn't. Yeah, he's doing a little sank. So yeah, that would be that would be good to hear that. Well, yeah, Saturn's coming out. <laughs> I don't want to talk too much. So I can't wait. Do you find that difficult to say? Yeah, it is. Even oh, like man, <laughs> people say you cannot say anything, but as soon as you get around, like speaking a little bit about it, it's like I could oh. have said so many things oh. today when you were saying it, but it's okay. <laughs> don't say anything. Yeah, yeah. You know right, what I mean? Man, I won't say. I won't say much more. But yeah, you know what, brother, man? I appreciate your time and thank you for letting us into your own brother. Always, oh, right. special man. Thank you, 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 man. Th